thanks for watching. Today we are looking at a 2014 Jeep Cherokee Sport. Here in the cabin of the Jeep, we are looking at the driver information screen. Here in the middle of the gauges, uh, we can see everything from a digital speedometer to screen settings, emergency messages, as well as audio control. We also can see trip information, fuel economy information, as well as your tire pressure monitoring. Fault control down here on the steering wheel with these buttons, and below we have Bluetooth integration and hands-free communication with the vehicle, while the other side hosts the cruise control. Now on the back of the wheel, using these fingers when holding the wheel at 9 o'clock and 3 o'clock, you can actually control the radio from behind the wheel. Hidden behind are the buttons for track selection, media mode, and volume. It's actually very intuitive when you are hanging onto the wheel. You have your power wiper controls, your light controls, and down here your power locks, windows, and mirrors. Here in the center, you have your satellite radio as well as your AM FM, your media, so you can connect to your devices through USB, SD, or aux in. You also have your Bluetooth integration as well as information such as your compass and climate. You also have a few adjustable settings you can do here on the unit. Now, down below, we have the hard buttons for the stereo, so you have hard buttons here and on the back of the steering wheel, as well as the soft buttons here, which are the touchscreen buttons available to you on the screen. You also have your climate control down here, also your select track, so that you can tell the vehicle what terrain you are driving on, so it can adjust the four-wheel drive system accordingly. And down here, we have the SD card. USB, aux in, and PowerPoint with some storage for your device. Here's the shifter, cup holders, and electric brake. In the center console, we have another USB hookup as well as another PowerPoint. I think Jeep really got this right knowing that today's market really demands a lot of connectivity to the vehicle and they provided you that with so many plugins. Here the seat has this kind of faux black denim look with the black fabric with the embroidery. It's really rugged, durable fabric, promised to be water and stain resistant. And here you also have some leather here on the door with this cool brushed wood look along with the cool sand aluminum trim and the brushed aluminum. Here you also have a padded soft leather dash with, with stitching as well as more storage. It's a very well put together cabin. Let's go take a look outside. Outside, the Jeep Cherokee is sitting on 17-inch alloy rims with Firestone all-season tires. Here in the back, you can see the 4x4 badges along with the sport badges. If we open up the hatch here, inside we have quite a large storage compartment. Here we have the winter floor mats still wrapped in their original plastic. There are some cargo tie downs as well as more storage under the floor with the spare. The seats do also fold flat and are a 60-40 split. Looking into the rear of the vehicle you can see there's a tremendous amount of room for rear passengers as well as the seats do independently slide forward and back using the slider bar underneath and do independently recline as well for added comfort for the rear passengers and, like I mentioned before, do fold flat for storage. Now the center cup holder armrest does fold away to reveal the third seat. There's also child anchor hookups for the child seats as well as child lockout to the door and rear curtain airbags. Down here we also have a power point for charging your devices. The Jeep Cherokee Sport is a great addition to the Jeep family. It's got some aggressive styling and a lot of capabilities. This SUV is not just great for saving fuel while running around town, but can actually safely guide you off-road. So come on down today and see this Jeep Cherokee or many others like it.